I'm so disappointed in you, boss. This is not how I wanted my son to find out. Hi, honey. Come on in. You may regret you said that. Oh, come on, Macy. All that man's explanations and excuses sounds like a bunch of malarkey. Mother Thorne swears that he has no feelings for Tricia. Well, I don't buy it for a minute. And darling, I have seen that man hurt you too many times to take anything he says without a grain of salt. Well, that's fair enough. Fair enough, Mother. That's why I'm not jumping into this relationship. Macy, it seems to me you have already jumped in. God. Mom, how'd you know I was here? Well, I, I didn't. I just took a chance. I called the school at Copenhagen to see if you had checked in, and they said you hadn't arrived yet. What happened? Did you miss your flight? Um, no, no, I got to the airport on time. Um, I just changed my mind at the last minute. Why? Why did you decide to stay? Not surprised you're here instead of in the guest house. Now that your secret is not so secret anymore. You must be anxious to uh, protect your territory. There's no telling when that truth will finally find its way to dad. I don't have to clarify which dad I'm talking about, do I? Rich. Is there any chance of him walking in on us? No, he had some business to do downtown. Oh, how well, very smart of you because you're not going to want him to hear what I'm going to say to you. Oh, Macy. What happened to all that fine talk in Italy when you kept insisting that you were going to do everything possible to stay as far away from Thorne as you could? And that's kind of hard to do now that we're living in the same town and we're still married. On paper. Thorne is pressuring me to make it more. You see. Oh, well, then let's just give it up right now. When do you plan on moving back in Mother, with him? Mother, it's not like that. Darling, it seems to me that all that man has to do is snap his fingers for you to come running back to him. That was before Lorenzo. Fine, good. I'm glad you remembered him. <sighs> Mother, you don't think he's not been on my mind every minute? You think I don't know what I would be losing if I went back to Thorn? Then why are you even thinking about doing it? Because I... Thorn and I have a history. There's a connection there, Mother. There's intensity between us that I've never felt with anybody else. Dr. Freud used to call that codependence. <laughs> Maybe once, but... <sighs> oh, listen to me, Macy. I'm really not interested in hearing you try and explain to me how Thorne is a changed man. You've only been around him, what, a month? Barely a month? You come to me and tell me a year from now that he is a different man, and I might believe you then. But in the meantime, Macy, there's Lorenzo. He's here now. This is a man with no secret agenda, no issues. This is simply a man who loves you and is completely devoted to you. You're right, Mother. You're right. I mean, Lorenzo is everything that I could ever ask for. But he's not Thorne. I don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, Thorne wants me to tell Lorenzo that her wedding wasn't valid. Well, of course he does. That way, Lorenzo goes back to Italy. The competition is gone, right? I'm afraid that is exactly what he's going to do if I say anything. 
Then, Macy, darling, you've got to be very careful what you say. You have got to think long and hard about what you're going to do and say. And please remember that Lorenzo is a wonderful man. Men like him don't come along every day. I think you should at least give him a fighting chance. I thought this program in Copenhagen was very prestigious. It is. I was lucky to get in. Well, then why not go? Are you trying to get rid of me? No, of <laughs> course not. I hated the idea of you being so far away. So did I. Enough to pass up a chance of a lifetime. At least that's how Stephanie described it. She would. All right. What's going on? Nothing. Bridget. Uh, Stephanie just thought it would be a good idea for me to get out of L.A. For what reason? Um, I don't want to talk about this. But you talk about it with Stephanie. Why don't you want to talk about it with me? Is this about Deacon? Were you just trying to get away from him? No, not from him. But you were running away from somebody. Yes. Me? No, Mom, not you. Can we just drop this? CJ? No. Mark. Mom. Mark, did he do something it to hurt you? It wasn't Mark, and nobody hurt me. OK, then what? I thought I'd fallen in love with someone. Somebody that I should have never had feelings for to begin with. Who? Who was it? I stopped Bridget from going to Copenhagen. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll just bet you are. So what did you say to her that kept her from going? Oh, don't worry. I didn't profess my undying love. She was confused enough about what we mean to each other. I'm very angry with Massimo, filling that girl's head with those kinds of ideas about the two of you. Well, that was his way of taking care of me, Mother. He happens to think I'd be happy with her. Romantically involved with your sister? You know, you really ought to stop thinking of her in those terms. You shoved that scholarship to Denmark down her throat, Mother. You practically forced her to leave town. And all to keep the dicey truth from coming out about your bastard son, huh? What would you have had me do? Did you want me to walk up to your father and say, Eric, the boy that you raised, the boy you love, you adore, your son, isn't really your son? How could I do that to him? Well, then maybe you don't tell him. You keep it between you and me. And me, Mother. Were you afraid I'd blow your cover? If I didn't tell him, why would I burden you? So that I would know who I was, where I came from, hmm? You already know that. You're a forester. This is your heritage. This is your family. Oh, my heritage, is it really? You know, all the times that Massimo tried to get me to focus on Moroni Industries, I'm going on and on about how fashion is so much in my blood. Well, it is. Did you think you could spend your life working with your father, watching him, emulating and him, and that that wouldn't shape you? To what expense, huh? You know what you did? You kept me from a lifetime of memories with the man that would turn out to be my father. A lifetime? I didn't even know about this until you had that accident. No, Massimo didn't know about it, Mother. But you? You had to have some idea, didn't you? Seeing as you were sleeping with a couple of guys the whole time. Naive as this may sound to you now, I never had any idea other than the fact that your father was Eric. That's because that's the way you wanted to believe it was. You've had the nerve to criticize Brooke all these years. She's a saint compared to you.
Surprise! <laughs> what is this all about? It's about America, mom, and apple pie. I just want to make you feel more at home and to show you that wherever you are, that's my home too. Speaking of a home, that's what I went to looking for today. You did? Mm hmm With a two-car garage and a white picket fence <gasps> and uh, a backyard with a barbecue and a swimming pool. The American dream. That's the idea. Here, have a seat. We got hamburgers, hot dogs, fries, milkshakes, and a little John Philip Sousa to go with it. Is that music, or is that music? It's... it's great. I... <laughs> I think it's awesome! What? Did I say wrong? No, it's just... You shouldn't have to say it at all. I mean... I don't need you to like American music, American food. I, I, I don't need you to be somebody that you're, you're not. If you make you feel happier. You've been so far away. I know. Tell me what I can do to bring you back. I miss my wife. I'm not. What? Your wife. Our marriage wasn't legal. Lorenzo, I... I'm still married to Thorne. Quite frankly, I'm stunned by that comment. At least Brooke never pretended to be the model of virtue. You go around judging everybody, holding them up to your standard of excellence, huh? Well, all the while you're deceiving your husband, your son, pr oh, pretty much everybody in the world, mother. Who are you? Because you sure as hell aren't the person I thought you were. You really think it's so easy not telling the truth? I don't see any scars. I've sacrificed everything for you, Rachel. Sacrificed? You've sacrificed? You're just trying to save your own neck. I'm trying to save your family, our family. What family, mother? Huh? This family? This family? This family's a joke. It's just a lie. How much loss is one person expected to take in a lifetime, huh? Tell me that. First Caroline, then Taylor. I thought that was it. I thought maybe I wouldn't have to do that ever again. But here I am, staring it right in the face. I'm sorry. For all your hurt. But it doesn't have to be this way. You have not lost your father. I have lost the person I counted on most. I have lost the person I thought would help me when everything else in the world was falling apart around me. I'm talking about you. So, Thorne checked it out with his attorney and he confirmed it. In the eyes of the law, you and I aren't married. This isn't some kind of trick of thorns, is it? I'm sorry. I guess we have no choice. There is only one thing to do. You'll have to divorce Thorne, and you and I will have another wedding. Another wedding? The kind you always wanted. With your mother there, your friends. We'll invite the whole town. Uh, Thorne too. Let him see that he cannot come between us any longer. Maybe this is just what we need. 
a way for you to put your past behind you completely, officially. You see, I know I just did this once before, but this time it's forever. You see, will you marry me? Oh, Lorenzo, I... Not exactly the answer I was hoping for. You are such a dear, dear sweet man, and I love you, I do, I... But I, you loved him too, despite the way he treated you, and the way he's gonna treat you again. I just need time, okay? I just need time to figure this all out. You'll be my wife again. I'll make sure of it. Are you gonna make me guess? What difference does it make what the guy's name is? Well, if there's somebody you're in love with. I said I thought I was in love with him. But you're not. No, just wouldn't have been right. What's the problem? Is he too old? Or is he married? Um, he's involved. Or he was. Uh, it's complicated. So that's why you wanted to get away. But I realized that running wasn't going to solve anything. So I got off the plane and he and I talked it all out. And you're clearer now? <sighs> you know... You know how it is when you just click with a person? And it feels so good being around them, you just feel like you can tell them anything. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, that's what it's like with us. And I think I started to confuse that with a romantic thing. You know, I just figured my feelings were so strong, it couldn't be anything else. But it turns out all it really is is a friendship. An incredibly strong, loving friendship. Hmm. I was saying the same thing about Ridge a couple of months ago. Honey, I'm certainly not going to tell you what's going on in your own heart. But if those feelings are as strong as you say they are, I think you should pursue that situation. I mean, I certainly would if it were Ridge. But then we're not talking about him, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. All right, enough motherly interference here. But just think about what I said, okay? And who knows, with any luck, maybe you and I will be having a double wedding. I know you're angry and you have every right to be. Oh, well, thank you so much for your permission. Look, when things settle down and you start thinking clearly again, I just hope you'll understand that I have never, ever had anything but your best interests at heart. You know, Mother, you may have convinced yourself of that, but I'm not buying any of it, none of it at all. You really think that I care more about my reputation than I care about you? After what you did to me? To Massimo, to Dad, I'm not sure you've got the capacity to care about anything. You're just saying that because you're hurt and angry. You know from the day you were born that your happiness and your welfare are the only things that I have ever thought about. You're my whole world. Yeah, well, you're going to have to get used to not having me in your little world. You don't mean that. You know I love you more than anything. This is your idea of love, Mother. I don't want any of it. Listen to me, Rich. Don't say something like that. And don't walk out on me. Please.